They took their sweet time with it, but the 2021 Formula 1 calendar is finally complete. With this monstrosity. What the fuck? Okay, so firstly, what is it? Well, it's called the Lozell International Circuit, and it's a racetrack. Without the racing part. Like, where do you pass here? It's currently on the MotoGP calendar, and having looked at some of the highlights of the races there, it looks pretty decent. For motorbikes. So why is it that I don't think it'll work? Well, allow me to explain. Turns 1, 2, and 3 have been lifted out of Hungary and reworked slightly, followed by turns 17 and 18 of Sochi. We then have more of Hungary, specifically the left-right section where you can't go side by side, and then we have Bahrain's turn 10, if it were described to a blind person with a fax machine. We then have a straight that'll be too short to use DRS into Turkey's turn 8, but less impressive. The final straight is broken up by another half assed corner, and then ends in Bahrain's turn 15. All this would be fine in a slower car, such as this. But F1 isn't slow. Literally 90% of the corners on this track are possible without touching the brakes. This track genuinely has every single bad section of track on this year's calendar, and mashes them together to form Tilka's monster. Also, where are the grandstands? We can't claim F1's a spectator sport and then visit a track that only has seats for 15 fans. I've heard more logic coming out of the mouth of Helmut Marko. I saw a lot of you mention that the boring tracks have created great racing this year, but have they? France was the first boring track, except it's not actually boring. The problem with France is that because it has every type of corner, the best car almost always wins, and it creates a larger than normal divide between the car's performance levels. As a result, you rarely see teams being able to challenge each other. This year, however, the field spread is a lot smaller, allowing for cars to be close enough to race one another. Hence, we had a good race. Sochi was another one mentioned a lot, but did it really create great racing? No. The rain created great racing. Imola was exactly the same. It was a bit rainy, and we had a good race. Same with Hungary. For some reason, Spain was also mentioned. Why? Max lunging Lewis into turn one isn't a good race. You can lunge someone into turn one at any track. Spain isn't special in that. Mugello last year was also mentioned, but again, why? We had a big crash, but that's not great racing unless you're five and only watch F1 for the crashes. Lozell, like Catalonia and Mugello, is a track designed for motorbike racing. MotoGP and all its friends need a constant flow of corners to be interesting, and Lozell definitely delivers that. Formula 1 cars need straights to break up the corners, and they need to be long ones. We have one straight on the Lozell International Circuit, and it's barely a kilometre long. The worst thing for me about Lozell is the time it's being held. We can almost guarantee that Abu Dhabi will be another boring race, and Saudi Arabia looks like it'd be a better kitchen utensil than a racetrack. And they've put this right in the middle of them. That means the last three races of the season will offer no good racing, and therefore qualifying could end up deciding the championship. It's not like it's going to rain in the Middle East, is it? Now, I could be wrong on this, and I hope I am, but as I'm looking at this announcement and moaning into my microphone, I don't see any way this track is going to be good.